In a world, four friends, one mission, to bring freedom to everyone involved. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm doing a thing for the podcast. Did you say the name? <sighs> Fine. It's the Freedom Friends Podcast. You know what sucks? Now that we actually like... That some of us have had COVID. Hmm. So well, once you have it, you, you're we've not. All, we've all had it now. But like once Scott's you have the it, one that hasn't gotten it. Yeah. He's vaccinated. Hmm. I don't think that's it. <laughs> but once you've had it, you're not supposed to get vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, you should. But that also means that you can't get your little vaccination passport. Right. I should. So, I should. Like, I have the better version of the vaccination. Yeah. But I can't get the little passport because I can't get vaccinated. It's fucked. Yeah, it's a wonderful system. Okay. I mean, I wasn't going to... I don't plan on going anywhere where I need one. Yeah. Well, you don't want to go to dumb. New York City and try to go to a restaurant? No, actually. After uh, my last trip to New York City, I have no desire to go there yeah, for okay. any reason ever. Yeah, it's just it's like going to trash. fucking downtown Baghdad. Yeah. It smells the same. It does. It almost looks the same. Yeah. yeah. The it's, food's yeah. questionably the and same. The population's Your chances of about death are still higher, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So fuck boys. It's Thursday. Yeah, it is. Sitting in a circle, sort of. Ooh. We got some sticks in our hands, some drinks on the table. Johnny boy, what are we about to do? We're fucking masturbating, boys. That's mm. right. It's time for Freedom Friends Master Debate. I've been waiting to hear Solving that for a Solving the world's weeks problems. Now. One mediocre fucking topic at a time. <clears throat> Justin, what you got for us this week? Oh, I've got this one, boys. Oh. Yeah, I'm All stepping right. in here. That one's not going to stand up. All right. We ready? This is an age old question. Age old, yeah, seventeen and a half. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, not for this one. You might want to retract that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a bigger fan of the side boob or the under boob? Ooh, ooh, I like side boob. I like side boob. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Kelly McGinnis is fucking always got a special place in my heart after, you know, <laughs> weird science and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, um, side boob all day. So that was a quick answer. Yeah. So almost I've everybody thought, else. I've, I've thought of this. Almost everybody <laughs> else is, it just goes, oh. No, side boob all day. That's my go-to. Now, if it was side boob and under butt, because like little bottom of cheek. A little, a little peek boob That's That's a different story. Yeah. That's hard for me to. That's a hard fucking sell on me. I don't know which one I like better. I feel like Mikey's into like the underbutt with the butter or like the butterfly tattoos on the back of the thigh. No. With the bows. Absolutely oh, the not. <laughs> so it looks like she's wearing fishnets all the time. No. It sounds right up your alley, buddy. There was a time. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time. Yeah. Not so, so much now. Johnny? I, I like side boob. I do. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more classy. It is probably is safer at 17 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. No. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> no. no, it's not. And no, it's not safer. <laughs> it's just the side, man. Not, they're not breaking any laws. No. No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. 17 to get you 20, bud. Uh, that depends on the state, friend. That depends on the state. Could also get you the retribution of a dad gone full taken. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. It's like, I don't know. There you are reasons like that I'm real glad that yeah. I don't have daughters. You can, <laughs> you can like side boob all you want to. I don't like it enough to fucking die for it. Like that's a, <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. Well, what do you think, Dave? Oh. You an under boob or side boob guy? I'm an under boob guy. Mm. It's not bad. Now, are we talking like weird swimsuit or are we talking like crop top that's too small? Hmm. Crop top, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, There's not really a wrong answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Defin definitely the crop top. Crop top, no bra. Perkiness. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I've never really seen bad tits, but. Nope. <laughs> There's some I wouldn't want to look at. <laughs> yeah. 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 There, there are definitely some tits that I don't want to see. I could go the rest of my life without yeah, seeing haven't... Tara Reads again. <laughs> <laughs> well, but at, at, at what time frame? Apparently, she got those fixed. Really? Again? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. She wouldn't go. They, they they fixed. They they put the nipples back in the front. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> That's a handy place for them to Wait, be. <laughs> right? Yeah, like, but when you can see nipple with side boob. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, it's true. You could with Terry Reads for a while there. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, Looks like somebody balled up oh, newspaper and Jesus. just like stuck a nipple on it. See, what I want to point out there is that you said again. You're huh? willing to see him the first time. Well, yeah. The first time it was like, yo, did you see her boobs? I was like, yeah, let me see him. And then I was like, oh, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> but what was your immediate answer when somebody asked you if you wanted to see tits? Yes. Well, yes. That's Always my point. yes. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. everybody likes boobs. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is He's saying like perkiness. And I'm like, perkiness, floppiness. Boobs. 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 Yeah. It's like I've had well, amazing pizza I, and I I've had fucking Costco pizza. And at the now, same now, time, I'm like, now jazz. It's fucking pizza. True. Like, I didn't say that there was a pair of tits I did not want to see. I have a preferred pair of tits that I want to see. Sure. <laughs> right. It's like saying I like milkshakes. Or eggnog for Mikey. Yeah. 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 I have preferred flavors of milkshakes. Yes. But if I'm somewhere they're like, hey, you want a milkshake? But like, the real question is, does it bring all the boys to the yard? <laughs> Always. Yeah. There's no all point right. drinking milkshake if it's not bringing the boys to the yard. That's all true. Right. It's true. Yeah. What the fuck are you even doing at that point? Seriously. What are you even doing here? <laughs> Surprised we're not getting milkshakes right now. Right. Fuck. Sounds kind of nice, actually. I, I, well, <laughs> I could fucking, go for a mix milkshake right now. <laughs> fucking mint chocolate chip milkshake. I wouldn't be able to taste it. <laughs> oh, you, didn't get, you, didn't taste, you didn't get the taste back yet. Yeah. Nope. That I don't have like the a, taste or the smell back, so... Been there, done that. Yeah. I smoked like half a cigar earlier today, and that was about the extent. I was like, huh, yeah, well, uh, okay. <laughs> That's a waste. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, I have a follow-on question for you. Uh-oh. Okay. If you had to give yourself tits, like what size are you going? Well, I have a dick, so I'm not giving myself tits. You have to. It's part of the rules. Hit the button. <laughs> He's not here. Hit the button. I, I removed it. I you removed it. fucking <laughs> pussy. You <laughs> fucking pussy. I don't, don't want to get fired. There was there was too much seriousness in Scott's voice. <laughs> that was one of those fucking. He's buddy the one moments. that said it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's just mad that somebody recorded it. Yeah. yeah. Um. I'm like 36 C. So, so gun to your head, you got to get tits. 36 yes. C. Those are nice. Mm. Yeah. And nice knowing you guys. I'll be dead. That's going to look good in anything. I'm um, going with some, uh, just a nice, even like 34D. Uh, and then I'll shortly after that become a millionaire and OnlyFans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll I can pay to day. have them removed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. I think I'm going A cups, man. I want some perky little A's. So you're doing so a you're reduction? reduction? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, buddy. I'm sorry. I don't have I don't have tits, man. <laughs> it's got large pecs, goddamn it. I'm not, I'm not rocking man boob. <laughs> but yeah, as, as I'm actually about where I'm sitting, dude. <laughs> I am about sitting oh, right around where, I, where I'm where I'd be at. <laughs> So there's Fuck. the question though. Does, th that poses the question though. Do the tits go on top of the muscle you already have? Oh, you go under. Under the muscle? Yeah. Yeah, the implant goes under the muscle. God, I look fucking weird. You have boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think it really matters at that point if it's going over or under the muscle. Like you still have if, tits. If it goes over, then you're gonna look like Tara Reed. If it goes under, then you'll have nice tits. Well, I at least want nice tits. See? Well, if you're gonna have them. Might as well. Might as well have good ones. Yeah. If you're going to yeah. do something, do it right. Yeah, but D-cups, man. Why not? You already got back problems. So? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a solid only what's, fan what's right you, now. What's <laughs> you want headaches too, Dan? God damn. Uh, yeah, you no already way, got back problems. <laughs> <laughs> no way it's more than a mouthful, man. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but see, so think about it. You have a rather large tank top collection. 
That's true. Well, you so do. if you got some nice C or D cups put in, you could side boob it the whole time you were lifting. Ooh, I could jerk off to my own side boob. Yeah. That's, put a mirror behind, that's narcissism at its finest. Put a mirror behind the cage. <laughs> just put a mirror behind the cage, and every time you deadlift, you just see your own side boob. Okay. Then you can fucking <laughs> then you can rage jerk it if you came off your as you came off your pre workout. You could <laughs> hit a PR. I want to go to war. I need a lightsaber. Is that my side tip? <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, fuck! So you're just you're just getting shot in the head then, huh? Yeah. There's no tits for you. No. Okay. Doesn't want boobs. Right, he's too manly for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. In this hypothetical situation, he's <laughs> no. he's winning with the man card. <laughs> I mean, because weren't you already supposed to get tits? Wasn't that a, there's a push for that? Yeah, something they were going to try and raise ten grand or whatever, so I could get tits. <laughs> I, I think it got like five bucks. <laughs> I don't think it actually got. Nobody actually wants to see me with tits. I think everybody does, Jazz. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if we were actually serious about that, we could generate those funds. <laughs> then I could have a banging OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Caitlin's <laughs> <laughs> off camera. Just said divorce. <laughs> Why? Everybody likes boobs, Caitlin. Get on board. Fuck. I'll start the OnlyFans after the divorce. I don't have to give up half. <laughs> <laughs> Community proper this. Community <laughs> property this. Just be like, Man. Fucking, I left him. Now he's worth millions and I got the tits removed. <laughs> this is bullshit. God damn. Yeah, theoretically speaking, you only have to keep him for like six, six months or so. Yeah. yeah. You'll be good to go. Yep. I'll be getting those 2 a.m. texts. I really miss you. You miss me or you miss that bank account? <laughs> well, then, <laughs> what are you doing? You, you up? <laughs> you up? New number, who dis? <laughs> New phone, who dis? Oh, shit. Somebody yep, from yeah. Mexico is calling me right now. Nice. Answer it on well, Answer it is on it Quinn on vacation? Hello? Thank you for choosing Hilton Hotel. Oh, you're welcome. We would like to <laughs> <laughs> Now I have to admit, I'm a fan of the side boob. Yeah. It's the tank top for me. Yeah, man. It's that like... Uh, <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, res- I respect the crop top yeah. and the under boob, but... You know what it is for me? It's the laundry day tank top. Yeah. When they just have like that pajama tank top that's like three sizes too big and it all just kind of drifts towards the middle. Yeah. You know what I like? I like the the first when you when you first wake up in the morning tank top where like yep. one tits out the elbow <laughs> and one's like in the middle. It's like, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> the hair's just kind of doing whatever and it's just like, just, what? Uh, 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 oh, tits, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or when they pop out and they're going to go, sorry. And it's like, for, <laughs> for what? For making my day better? Like, what are you <laughs> fucking sorry for? Fucking seriously. It's the greatest part of my day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You've seen you, him. Please He's, sorry me a few more times yeah. today. <laughs> You've seen him before. Doesn't matter. So I haven't seen them enough. <laughs> it like, doesn't get old. Uh, and I'm, I'm not sure what enough is. So like, why don't you just keep trying? <laughs> there isn't we get that a, number. There isn't ever going to be a single time where it's like, uh, no. Can you? Can you, I, I can you really cover up, please? Those right now. I really don't want to see boobs <laughs> like, right no, now. No, yeah, <laughs> never, never going to be a thing. Best well, thing about the new house is that like we have like a full surround glass shower. Nice. So there's like no angle for me to stand out where I can't see her in the shower. There you go. I'm like, I'd have gotten this house just for that. I'm like, right? this is- fucking I. <clears throat> Caitlin turns around, Jazz is just like, yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing she turned around the shower all the time. I'm leaning in the doorway. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. Mind your business. I'm fucking watching. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoying the show, man. Yeah, Shit. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? Same thing the cat's doing. Right. <laughs> Biting back fat and watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting over here looking at myself, watching you in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> you see Jazz with his fucking leg over. Hairball. John, yep. we got to talk about something. Oh, the whole my crotch? <laughs> yeah, you, it's you, a good one, isn't you it? You need a new pair of pants. I do. <laughs> I'm out of pants right now. Like, All of them have holes. Like, it's bad. I think, I, think, I think these ones are, I think I got. You got the same thing. Shut the fuck up. It's not that big, man. It's not this big. Yours looks like the one on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of year, man. Yeah. <laughs> sideball. Yeah, sideball. You want a little sideball? <laughs> Underball. <laughs> <laughs> I think if the roles were reversed, I think I think women would rather see underball. 
than sideball. <laughs> right? There's the question. Go on to our Facebook page to our female <laughs> listeners and let us know. Do you prefer sideball or underball? Yeah. There you go. We're going to get a whole lot of it's neither. Like, it's like nut cleavage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just neither. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm tight. <laughs> yeah. I'm all set. good. <laughs> oh, Jesus Ooh. Christ. Looking at your melted peep doesn't turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send some gum? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten Marines with that joke. <laughs> so, like, especially like during the flight suit era, when they, when they shit unzip from the bottom and be like, "Oh, bro, I set gum." They're like, "What? Ah, oh, fuck!" <laughs> like, but of course, just like what a queer kicking the ass. <laughs> Me, Gazer. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I got to do some jean shopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't own a pair of pants that don't have a hole in the crotch right what's now. Your, uh, what's your what's your what's uh, your go to jean? They used to be this uh, brand called BKE, and uh, but they went downhill and they no. fucking suck now. So no. I'm fucking I don't know. I don't I was know. I'm always a Gap jean guy, man. But yeah. I haven't bought jeans and fucking right. I started buying Ariat jeans and I'll never go back. I was gonna say either Ariat or Wrangler's is what I'm looking Ariots at right are, now. Ariat's are fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I just need something I can beat the shit out of. Yeah. Look into the origins. I rarely no. wear jeans, so it's like I wear them for what, like the three weeks out of the year that we need them here in Texas, and then it's like, yeah, I'm done. Back to cargo shorts. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't even own cargo shorts. Blast for me. Not really. Because I'm not in eighth grade. <laughs> here here we go. Nothing to do with eighth grade. <laughs> Has everything to do with eighth grade. It does not. All right. Yeah. The problem is, Jazz, that you've listened to women. <laughs> All right, and women women ruined fucking male fashion and told us somewhere along the lines that cargo shorts weren't fucking cool. All right, and it's just not fucking true. It's functional fashion, and I'm here to tell you, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, it's, don't be shaming people for the cargo shorts. Yeah, I'm, I'm say, still gonna do it. I'm not saying you have to. I'm not he, saying you have to wear them. He just likes having a couple extra pockets. Yeah, man, they're just always in, case. in use too. Just functional in case. as fuck. I wear cargo shorts. I know. Yeah, I know. Just like fanny packs, man. Somewhere along the line, us as men had women. Some woman was like, mm, that's not hot. And we fucking listened. And we shouldn't have. Because fucking, it should be about what we want, right? I don't know if that's how that worked. Yeah, that's not how that worked at all. Totally is. I, no. I, no I, I well, then give me a counter fucking scenario. Oh. Who makes up the fashion industry? Gay dudes and chicks. All right. I think the, <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I think the first part of that one is why we don't have fanny packs anymore. What? It's gay dudes. No. Gay dudes don't like them. By and large. Not fans of the old fanny pack. Yeah, I'm straight as fuck, and I'm not a fan of the old fanny pack. Well, you should be. It's why? functional. <laughs> so is a purse. You don't carry one of those. No, I don't. That's correct. Why? He, he calls it, it's called a merce. Well, even a merce. Why don't you carry a purse? I don't. I don't find it functional. It's a pouch that you carry around. Yeah. Sure, but you have to carry it. It's like a fanny pack. You have to hold it. So you put it on your shoulder. You still have to hold it on your shoulder. It still falls off your shoulder. Fanny pack. You don't have to worry about that. It's clipped. So it's there. All these dudes that are walking around with their little crossbody That's fanny a, packs on their that, shit. That I don't agree with. But they're not carrying that. That. But then again, is true. That a, is it's that a, equally as functional. Is that a fanny pack or a chest bag? I, f- I, I think that is a sling bag. Right? A sling bag. Gotcha. It's lame is what it is. It's 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 another way of using a it's a crossbody sling of a purse. It's what it is. So, so a fanny pack. But a fanny pack. No, because a fanny pack's around your waist. So if they took that and just clipped it around their waist. Fanny pack. But why is it called a fanny pack when you wear it in the front? Because it actually goes over your fanny, which is the actual British term. The British for, term for vagina. For vagina. It's fanny. Oh. So he's literally wearing a vagina pack. Technically is what it's called. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Less off putting it than saying pussy pouch or something. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of what I think every time I see a dude in a fanny pack. I'm like, okay. yeah, look at you. You got your you got your disposable camera in there? Maybe. Maybe he does. <laughs> maybe he's got his maybe he's got a disposable camera. Maybe he's got maybe he's got his gun. Maybe he's got, I mean, there's, there's, it's functional. Maybe it's Maybelline. <clears throat> Maybe it is. Yeah. I don't kink shame. <laughs> it's, it's about freedom, goddammit. If you want to wear a fanny pack, by all means, wear a fanny pack. Just because fucking fashion tells you not to, fuck that. 
I don't think it has anything to do with fashion. I don't know if fashion ever really accepted the fanny pack either. Sure it did. The 80s were there. Yeah. They, 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 <laughs> There's a reason that everything in the 80s fucking died, and it wasn't because it was good. I bet you if we it's go to Pittsburgh it was right, right now. now. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, the only, the only reason, Pittsburgh's not good. There's not a redeeming quality about that fucking city. The only city. reason that everything in the 80s died is because they ran out of neon. That's it. <laughs> they just right. ran they out of neon. All like, up we can't neon. make anything else You know, the funny thing out. is that if you grew up in the 80s, if you really think back to it, how much shit was brown? A lot. In the yeah, fucking there, 80s. It was either brown or neon. Yeah. There was a lot of brown, earthy there was tones. way more neon in the 90s. That's true, actually. There was a lot of neon. And random brush strokes on shit for no reason. And fucking teal. I feel like teal was just yeah. invented in like 94. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I mean, yeah. I just got real, really excited about teal. <laughs> like every show opener, every everything. Everything looked like the cafe from Saved by the Bell. The yeah. Max. <laughs> like yeah, just everywhere, <laughs> triangles and teal, like just fucking as far as the eye can see. Yeah, yeah. good point. And then they just ran out one day. They were like, you know, like we're, we're, doing, we're out of this. We can't we make can't. we can't make this color anymore. No. I think the we whole reason fanny packs got popular between like eighty six and like ninety five were those ridiculous cell phones. The fucking um, like the the Zach the, Morris, the giant, yeah. yeah, the giant brick. Yeah. And it was like, well, this isn't going to fit in any fucking pocket. Fanny pack. Boom. Functional as fuck in that case. Yeah. yeah and a but quick now way to get testicular cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but with the with that phone gone. Yeah, there's no other. I mean no other reason to carry a fanny pack. I would even say that on the veteran side of the house, and I don't know if you guys ever got this. I know that very very few units in the Marines were issued them, but they were the butt packs. We had one. Basically a fanny pack. A lot of soft guys get them. Like I, yeah. I know a lot of soft guys that rock them. Fucking recon was one of the recon. We oh, got I them had back like when we had like LBBs. Yeah, I didn't use it, but I had yeah. one. But I mean, that was like if you're going out on fucking light carrying patrol. That was great. That's what it was for. Like throw your chow, throw your fucking sh- whatever the fuck in there, bam, and then just roll. You know, you're fast with just that. And, I, and so I think in in some aspect, and from a veteran stand- standpoint. If you were one of those souls that got issued that shit and saw the functionality and all the things that worked, that could be a good reason why you're into fanny packs now. Essentially the same shit. Yeah, I've never felt the need to have a light combat load as I like walked around La Quintero. <laughs> Probably not in La Quintero. Yeah. It's a little bit too fucking too bougie. It's not really combat-y. It's not very combat It's more bougie. Yeah. By the way, did you go to whiskey cake yet? No. You're fucking up, man. You're going to walk in there and you'll be like, I'm never fucking leaving. This is it. This is where I die. <laughs> you know, you look at that bar and you'll be like, well, it's been fun, guys. <laughs> you'll be like, I'm finished. This is it. <laughs> Boys, I just, I just want to recognize that I think this is the first time we've had an actual real debate. During this segment, <laughs> during the debates, <laughs> it's, it's about fucking fanny packs. <laughs> it's not really a debate. It's one dude that's like fucking love fanny packs, and everybody else is like fucking why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking why? Then I'm explaining why. Functional. It's the same. It's the same argument I have against car- for cargo shorts. I'm and, not gonna let somebody else tell me. And your tactical Crocs. That was just more for fun. <laughs> <laughs> they're not probably. They're probably not. They're the, functional. The the pouch the pouch is functional, but yeah. am I ever gonna actually put shit in the pouch? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so what do you have in the pouches right now? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Okay. His light Yet. combat load. Right. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> so I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna light combat load my Crocs. Bring them in. Hold on just a minute. Let me remove my shoe to get this thing out of this pouch so that I have it available for this emergent yeah. situation. Where, and I also yeah. have a backup of my cargo shorts and then well, my fanny pack. And too. my fanny pack. I'm going to come in with so many fucking pockets. I'm going to have a vest. <laughs> I'm going to have a vest. I'm going to have one of them fucking hidden, this, hidden fucking zipper This fanny fats. pack argument sounds to me like those people that drive around here in $100,000 Jeeps and it's never seen off road. And it's like, but it can. It could do it. It's functional. No, it can't. It's got four wheel drive and I've got racks and shit on it. I've got a hundred grand in it, so I'm scared <coughs> to take it in the mud because it might get a scratch, but it's functional. That, That's not functional, though. So why not? If it not, can. If it can go off road. But they're not using it. But it's four wheel drive. Sure. But it can. Yeah, it was, I could put shit in it. Yeah. I could do it. You could. You look like a fucking idiot. 
but I you mean, could do it. You might be able to. Yeah. yeah. But maybe the automotive industry is just telling people they should be more functional. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Well, just Jeep people. It's like a Jeep, though. Right. And 99% of them never see their function ever performed. You can thank the movie Clueless for that. I can also thank the fact that I live in an incredibly heavy veteran populated area and everybody buys those things because they think they're being tactical with them. I had a Jeep for fucking I had five Jeeps in a row, right? Yeah. Yep. My last one. Moto striped everything. Own stock, right? You knew it. You saw it. Yep. Been in it. Did I have any upgrades in that thing? I had one too. That's why I'm talking shit on Jeeps. I had a JKU. And, and I didn't upgrade. It fuck was all. fucking awful. Do you know why? Because it, it was. Because they suck. <laughs> there was no horrible. reason. They drive like ass. They're loud as fuck. They're uncomfortable. Like, I know that my. I know that I've I've noticed a lot less headaches since I moved on from my Jeep. Yeah, because they're awful. Yeah, they are fucking awful. Don't get me wrong. Like I loved my last Jeep. My one before that. My two. My I had a two thousand Wench Lift KCs. I used it though. I was always mudding. I was always off road. Sure. So you're part of the one percent that did it. Sure. And and. and Weirdly enough, like there's a lot of good places back east, like you know, uh, like Pennsylvania, hometown. Pennsylvania, Maryland, fucking Delaware area that had like Jeep trails mm-hmm. that I would take fucking all the time. They were great, right? Um, but you're right because I would see, I, I would see. It's like on the way here, I saw one that was entire. Jeeps. It was a Jeep lifted, tons of stickers, had the big Salt Life thing on the back glass. Uh, well, see, and all we're that going shit. back into those fucking douchebags. And you, know my, you know my opinion of those from fucks. the front to back. <laughs> had a jeep sized american flag wrapped down the side of the fucking jeep how are people gonna know and that it was you love one America? of those situations <laughs> where i couldn't even be like fuck yeah look at that it was just like i bet you you're a douche you know what i like is i like the jeep girl the ones that are just all pinked out they will never see dirt no they're just pinked out and won't admit to you that they fucking hate driving that thing yeah no, no, no. They'll, they'll tell you the opposite. Yeah. Oh, I love it. No, you don't. No, you it's think so it's comfortable. Fucking no. awful. <laughs> yeah, it handles everything. Yeah. The yeah. seats are yeah. horrible. Yeah. There's, like, there's loud. no part yeah, of that that's comfortable. Yeah, they're loud as fuck. Yeah. But like hard top, soft top, doesn't oh, yeah. matter. Remember in the summertime when it's 100 degrees? Yeah, your AC doesn't work. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> and in, in the winter when it's cold as shit, your, heat your heater doesn't, doesn't fucking work. <laughs> All that road noise? Yeah, this Jeep doesn't get rid of any of that. No, there's definitely You're sitting on a two by four bolted to another two by four that makes kind of an L. <laughs> <laughs> they don't handle for shit. But like, they're awful. They're fucking terrible vehicles. I mean, fuck. Uh, how long was that recall for the death wobble? Didn't it oh, s- on those Grand Cherokees? Dude, well, it was like, no, it was, it was, it was on all the, of them. It stretched it was on for the, like fucking like a nine year It was on the TJ. Fucking, it was like a nine year section where like the death wobble was so, just fucking murdering people. When they went to the JK, <laughs> the, the Jeep was then on the Grand Cherokee suspension. Right. So it was all shock and strut. And they got rid of the leaf spring, and that's what was causing the death wobble. But uh, yeah, so now and all these people are like, "Well, I, dr- I drive a Wrangler; it's capable." I'm like, "It's a Grand Cherokee suspension with a worse body." What do you think of the truck? That's a that's an even more useless Wrangler. <laughs> that's real useless. It's, it's like, <laughs> you took a barely functional vehicle and cut out any storage that you could have for a two and a half foot bed. Uh, it's, got, it's got the full. I'm bed. pretty sure an avalanche is more useful <laughs> than the Wrangler a Honda truck. Ridge line. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a Honda Ridge and line. more reliable at that point. <laughs> well, it's a Honda. Fuckers won't die. <clears throat> I don't know. My point is, is that I agree with you on Jeeps. I disagree with you on fanny packs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pretty sure Jeep's the only vehicle that you can actually get a fanny pack for. Maybe. I think they give you one when you buy it. They give, they give you a Jeep branded one. It's just got the headlights on it. <laughs> he just got two I bet headlights you can, on a fanny pack. I, I, I bet you can find it. Fuck yeah, you could. I guarantee With just the grill and the headlights? Yeah. Guarantee that fanny pack exists. Sure. Because Wrangler drivers look at that and be like, ooh. I buy that. That's functional and it lets people know I drive a Wrangler. Maybe. Yeah. Because why douche when you can double douche? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to throw something at Jazz and uh, (laughs) maybe beat the shit out of him off camera. Uh, We haven't decided yet, but uh, tune in fucking next week. (laughs) To see what happens. (laughs) To see how many hosts there are. (laughs) Um, Well, like, share, subscribe, smash those buttons. I guess uh, 
I, this all started with side boob <laughs> and under boob, <laughs> which I will say Jeep girls are more than willing to share. Lots of side boob and under boob there. Yeah. 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 Not always the ones you want to look at. No. But then again, no. you still want to look at them. It's still most, boobs. most Jeep girls look like that girl has been on the back of a Harley for too long. Yeah. Like she's definitely used the term, get up, yeah. daddy, you're squishing, you're squishing my cigarettes after yeah. sex. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of that. Yeah. Look probably, like a lot of, probably a lot of Jeep girls in Alabama, I'm assuming. Just look like they're made out of leather. <laughs> yeah. Neither one of you guys saw the instant recognition in John's face when he said that. Oh, no. And I saw I literally saw him just drop his head. It was just like, because you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> That oh, like yeah. that fifty five year old one that's cut oh, her t shirts into the, tassels and looks like she's yeah. made out of that's, leather. Yep. That's the old lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. And the dude riding the bike has the t shirt that says, "If you can read this, the bitch fell off." Yep. Yep. Which you can't read because the bitch is still back there. Yep. Yeah. She's just living her best life. Yeah. Get zero fucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got the shirt that says her other ride is a jeep. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh jesus christ keeps her back up palm oils and a lighter in her fanny pack there you go functional <laughs> <laughs> fucking functional what if it holds what, what what happened to the 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 i needed to hold my concealed carry pistol a drink and one pack of lorna dunes yeah that's <laughs> In combat, that's totally applicable. <laughs> I live in San Antonio. Like, this isn't fucking Baghdad. Those were your parameters, sir. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. In combat, it needed to do that. <clears throat> One pack of Lorna Dudes is important. It really is. You don't go into a fight without Lorna Dudes. Dude, you're <laughs> fucking playing with fire if you do that. <laughs> playing with fucking fire. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you go into a fight and you have two options, draw a pistol or draw Lorna Dunes and look at the other dude in the eye. <laughs> and you pull out a pack of fucking shortbread cookies and just start eating cookies while you're looking at him. Dude's gonna think twice about the fight he just decided to He's gonna to be pick. like, oh fuck. <laughs> be like, ah shit. Yeah. I'm either getting shot or fucked. Or maybe both. In an order that would surprise you. <laughs> uh three little things. Fucking Dave, Dave you fucking tell him. <laughs> oh man. First, first one is always smoke on. Mm. Johnny boy? Drink on. <laughs> God damn it. Freedom, Freedom the, the fuck on. on. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. Man. Oh. Oh.